Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today is time again for Tax Fridays. And today we're going to talk about rounding things with DAX. We are going to round numbers, we're going to round prices, and we're going to round time. And I'm sure you're thinking, like, come on, Ruth, we all have been doing rounding stuff uh, before. But we're going to go into the details of the different functions that you have available for you for rounding with DAX. The functions are very similar to Excel, so some of them you might know, but you might find uh, one of your treasures in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and we have a very simple table with two rows, one that is 15.55 and 15.45. And we are going to start rounding with the easiest function of all and you've used this in Excel a thousand times. It is called round and it is actually called the same in uh, Power BI and it's used the same way. So you just say round, you add the column you want to round and then if you, you have to add the number of digits otherwise it will give you an error, okay? But if you write zero it will round to the next integer, uh, so to the next whole number. So 15.55 will round up to 16, and 15.45 will round down to 15. And it is based on this number right here, the number to the left that you want to round up. So five and four, if it is five or bigger, it will round up and otherwise it will round down. I'm sure you know this, it's nothing strange with that. If you add a number one there, it will round to the first decimal. So 55 will round to six and 45 will round down to five. Now, what happens if you want to round up all your numbers. You know this for sure too, is round up. It is the same in Excel, round up, you say number, and again we start with zero. As you perhaps remember when we had zero there, round what it does, it rounds up and down. Round up, it just rounds up exactly as it says. If we have one in there and then we put one in there, it just does um, the same as round. If you want to round down, you guessed it, there is a round down function, same in Excel. Uh, it's done the same way, number, if you put a zero, it will run both now down to 15. If you put a one, it will round down to the first digit. So 55 will run down to five and 45 will run down to four. So as you can see, there are different ways to round up numbers. Now, if you want to round integers, as you remember what we did here, if we put a zero, it will run to the integer, to the closest integer. There is a function called int that will run down integers. So if we put int and then number, you see it runs down to the next integer. You might wonder what is the difference between integer and round down and then you can see it here very very clearly. If we put zero here there is no difference at all but if we add a decimal this will run down decimals while int does not. It just down, runs down to an integer. Okay. Now there is a very useful function also called uh, trunk uh, 
like that. And what this does is basically runs, rounds the number. Let me see. I'll show you number. So it doesn't round up or down, it just removes the decimal. So it's just rounding without rounding. It makes no sense, but you understand what I mean. It just removes the decimal, so it leaves you with the number. You don't have to choose if you want to run it up and down, you just don't want to see the decimals. So this is quite useful. And now there are a few odd ones. I guess it's called odd. And I'm sure you're already guessing what this does. It just allows for a number and it rounds to the nearest odd number. And it rounds, as you can see there, up, okay? And if it is an odd, it has to be an even also. And even, again, just allows for a number. It rounds up to the next nearest even number, okay? So these are pretty common, I would say, rounding functions. Odd and even perhaps not that common, but the other ones are uh, fairly common and, and, and used in Excel. But there are a few other very useful rounding functions and it has to do, this is an example, it doesn't have to be do prices, it could be years, like you, people that was born, uh, you know, you have a, a list of years and you have 1973, 4, 6, 78 and 79, but you don't care about that, you just want to know who was born in the 70s. So what you can do is you can actually use this function I'm going to show you to do just that. So instead of binning things, you can just change yeah, things. But the example I'm going to show you here is the one that I guess is the most common one and perhaps the most used. That's why I want to show it to you. And it is when you, for example, have prices like this, but you don't want to manage these small coins. So you just want to round up to something. So here we're going to round to the nearest, let's write it, round prices to the nearest 0 0.05 cents of euro. Okay, so instead of having 15.67, you just don't want to handle small coins, you will put 15.65. Or if you are doing financial um, statements and things like that, that you might want to uh, fix your numbers. So really useful um, rounding function. Uh, think of these as... Um, round so you have round you have m round and then you have the possibility to round up and you have the possibility to round down using the same thing but they are not called m round up and m round down don't know why they are actually called floor On the floor, as you can imagine, it, it rounds down to the multiple that you choose. So in this case, it will be 0 0.05. And ceiling. will actually, let's put it prices, and then we say, again, we want to round up to the 0 0.05 cents of euro. And this is exactly what it's doing. Okay, so this is rounding, rounding down to the 0 0.05, and this is running, rounding up to the 0 
So you're never managing the small coins, if you would say so. Useful, right? Um, remember, you can do this with absolutely anything, with uh, years to convert to decades or, yeah, any other stuff that you like. This is, uh, if I think, very useful for putting things in bins when you try to bin things. Um, let's do the last one. And this is, you yeah, actually can't round up and down time. And again, this this is very useful because sometimes you just don't want to have the 45, 32. You just want to know it was between four and five and that is good enough for you. And you don't want to handle the small numbers. It's just difficult to read. And for that, you're actually going to use M round time. So we write M round, and then of course we have to get the number, which is our time column. And you can round it like this. It's almost like you are formatting, right? Now, if you see this, don't panic. What is happening is that it doesn't recognize it as a time. You have to do it manually. So you see, it rounded up to five and it rounded up to um, four, four o'clock. This is PM time. And of course, if you can use M round, you can use floor. Floor, you have it there, and then we put time, and then we put, we say that we want to do it to the 15 minutes. Remember, don't panic, you just have to format it right. Oh, you have to format it right, I just didn't do it. <laughs> there you go. And the floor is rounding down, if you remember. So it goes to 45 and this goes to 30. And of course you can use ceiling. That is time. And then you have, I can show you also because you, if you want, you can use the time function for this. You would write hour zero minutes 15. So you choose which one you like to use time. Yes, there you go. So this is rounding up. I prefer to use these because it's somehow easier to read, but this works too. I don't know if anyone is faster than the other, have no idea. But uh, both work, so I just wanted to show you. So, uh, you see, I've spent almost 14 minutes talking about rounding things up and down. It's amazing. But I'm hoping that you, you get a few takeaways. You can round time, you can round prices, you can round, uh, round um, time. You can use rounding functions to create beans for in an easy way. Uh, yeah, the, there are tons and tons of... Uh, really useful functions. I, I, I can think of this um, for the decades. I've worked with the data set not, not long ago when I have the year, the, the date of birth, not the date, it was the year of birth, but it doesn't matter. And I actually did a switch statement that was quite messy. And I should have used uh, the round function. It would have been so much easier to be in everything than I will have the people that was born in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and so on. So yeah, this is all for today. Okay, so another Friday and another DAX Friday. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, even if the topic was a bit lightweight. Uh, if you did, let me know by liking it and sharing it if you have the possibility. I would appreciate that a lot. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions about the video, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening and a great weekend. Bye.